Welcome back to Giant Monster Games, I'm Adrian, and today we are playing another round of Budget Mono Black Control. And this is not the hand we want to keep, so we are going to mulligan this. That's two lands, which is nice, but we're not going to be playing anything in that hand. This is much better, at least we have Bile Blight, which we can burn away anything that our opponent may actually be playing. So let's keep that. And what do we have on top? Uh, Lost Legacy. Hmm... That is a very good card, but it is not going to be handy because we don't know what we're playing against, and I'd rather draw it, like, draw five. And we were playing first, so it would be even worse. Uh, so let's just drop down a swamp, let our opponent guess what we're playing, and pass the turn. Oh, our opponent is playing green. Well, that's okay. Our turn, we draw a little bit more removal, which I'm okay with, and we are going to play our Swamp, and we are not going to play Gatekeeper yet because I would rather hold on to him and if we can play him with our extra Swamp, then I'd play him with uh, with his Kicker cost. Because really, Gatekeeper's purpose in this deck isn't to be a 2-2 two -two for 2. He's here to be a 2-2 two -two for 2. Oh, we're playing against Stomp. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, we're here to play 2-2 two -two for 2 and make our opponent sacrifice creature. That's really his purpose. So, yeah. Haste and Undying. Hmm. That'll be fine. Okay, well, I mean, that's good. Right, look at that. That's exactly what we want to do. So, our phase, we're going to play our Swamp. We're going to play him for his Kicker. And bam, bam, bam. And our opponent is going to obviously sacrifice this guy, which means he'll come back Undying, which for us isn't the best thing in the world, but it is better than, um, better than us actually burning a spell away to get rid of that guy. And... Yes. You. Done. And then we're going to ship the turn to our opponent and let them figure out what they want to actually do about us. So this is actually a deck, and it's kind of interesting. So it comes back, it is now 3-2 haste, um, undying, so it'll obviously die. I could potentially just block, because he's going to play something else. Yeah, he's going to play that guy. Which, this is value. This is value. This is actually a deck that I've actually kind of been brewing myself. Um, obviously, we don't have anything to respond to with that. Um, this is actually a deck I've been brewing myself. I'm not sure if you guys want to see one of these. Um, there is actually, at the end of the videos, if you haven't noticed, um, or the end of this current video, I should say, um, uh, vote on the next deck. And this is actually the one of the ones that is in there this time around. And if you guys do want to see it, go and vote for it. If you don't want to see it, well, yeah, that's okay. Don't vote for it. Vote for whatever else you see in there. And it'll eventually come around, because Stump seems to be relatively highly requested. There's been a few people have said, hey... Can you build a stomp deck? Because they tend to be pretty cheap for quite a bit of value. And here's the question. I think it is better for us to you know, block our creature, uh, or block the guy, and then, um, yeah. So blocking him to get rid of that guy because we're going to, ooh, 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 ooh. Um, we could Desecration Demon. That is totally what we're doing. He's obviously not going to have any response to this. <laughs> we could have obviously got rid of this guy, but I would rather Desecration Demon than make him kind of figure out how he's actually going to deal with her Desecration Demon. I think that's that's more enjoyable for me to make our opponent a little bit more um, squirmy, if you will. Okay, pass it to our opponent and see what he thinks of uh, Desecration Demon. I think it's going to be um, a pain in his side, to be quite honest. Unfortunately, this guy has reach, so that means we're not going to be able to get like an immediate 6 damage in. He is going to be able to play something. Ugh, this guy again, really? That's fine. I'm not that worried about it, because we will just blow it out of the water. And does our opponent do anything? I'm assuming our opponent is just going to pass to us. He's not going to sacrifice one of his creatures. He is. Oh, <laughs> that's neat. So he sacrifices his uh, stag root guy, whatever, to tap down our, des or tap down our desecration demon, and then he's going to swing in for 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm. Well played, sir. Well played. I'll give you that. Um, and he totally forgot to swing in. Hmm. That sucks. I've done that. I know how bad that feels. It feels very bad. Okay, so what do we do here? We are going to... We're going to make our opponent have a real bad day. So we're going to Bio Blight this guy. Um, obviously, we're not getting as much value out of this as we could because they're only getting one of them. Um, but it's obviously going to kill it, which is fine by me. Bye, guy. And I think... 
I think, yeah, we're gonna... Oh. Um, okay. I'm I'm actually okay with two for oneing because that means we're not gonna be able to swing with our desecration demon. So yeah, well two for one, which kind of sucks for us a little bit because we two for one. Um, but it means that we could actually swing with our desecration demon this round and be okay with that. Yes. So that's what happened there. If you didn't understand what happened there, I killed it because I didn't want it to get bigger and then block our desecration demon. Uh, it is going to be our combat turn. Our opponent is clearly not going to sacrifice this guy because that seems highly counterproductive to his master plan because he obviously just wants to swing in for damage. Um, yep. Attacky and ship the turn. Let our opponent deal with seven damage in the air. Have fun with that, buddy. I hate to tell you that I will win this race against you. Stomp is actually quite a good matchup for us. So, yeah. Quite a good matchup for us. Why do you ask? Because we can generally pin our opponent to the ground faster than they can get damage in, even though Stomp has a lot of very fast damage. So, oh, second Desecration Demon. Oh, you're too nice to me. Um, so what do we think? Yeah, we're going to go this way, though, because I would rather just get rid of this guy altogether. So we are going to play this guy for his kicker cost. One, two, three. And see if our opponent, ah, our opponent has conceded. Okay, scooting on over to the sideboard. We can probably get rid of all our two, uh, where are they? Two bio blights. We don't need those in here. Uh, because we have Deathmark, which is a better option for us, because it just straight up kills. Um, but straight up kills green creatures. We can also probably pop out two duresses uh, in exchange for. In exchange for what? Why would I take them out, actually? The, the thing is, they only can grab. They can't grab creatures or lands, and generally. Past and mutilate and yin yin yin. No, you know, just leave it. I think that's gonna be good. So really all we're doing is we're taking out our two bio blights in exchange for two death marks, which are just more value. Going into game two. <coughs> Going into game two, our opponent is playing first, I'm guessing. That seems only logical. And we What do we do with this hand? Uh, we have a duress, which means we're actually going to take a peekaboo at our opponent's hand, meaning we're probably just going to discard uh, a protective spell, so he has probably, uh, I don't remember the name of them right now off the top of my head, but the cards that protect his, gives his creatures hexproof. Um, but then we need to draw a third lance. We're going to mulligan, we can't keep this. I'd rather get some of the pin our opponent down than, Ugh, this is literally the exact same hand except worse. Uh, uh, yeah, let's go down to five. Not better, but we're gonna keep it. This is what sad Adrian face looks like right here. Sad Adrian face as this. Let's pop open. Oh, Duress. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Let's leave you on top. Put on top of library. So let's just keep the hand we should have kept right off the get go, but we didn't. So, oh well, this is the way it goes. This is the name of the game sometimes. So our opponent is probably going to get something fast down. No, our opponent doesn't get anything fast down. Interesting. Okay, well, that's fine. We will duress our opponent then. I feel so bad. Should have just kept that first hand. But, I mean, obviously there's way better hands we could have drawn. We did, obviously didn't draw that two times in a row. Um, our opponent obviously has no way of stopping this. So we're going to see what our opponent is playing, and then we're going to make him probably discard something that's going to protect his creatures. Yeah, Blossoming Defense. Yeah. So, he has a really slow hand as well. Yeah, so Blossoming Defense is going to go bye-bye, because that actually gives his creatures Hexproof, if you didn't know what that does. So it gives his creatures plus two, plus oh, uh, Trample and Hexproof, I believe. So, the big one is Hexproof. That's kind of like the, the combat trick that uh, Stomp does, is it's big creatures worth a lot of value, and then using spells to basically protect those creatures instead of them getting burnt away. 
which is what we do, because that's what our deck is. Our deck is designed to kill stuff. Um, and we are going to sit, because we'll play Gatekeeper next round to make him sacrifice creatures. So sit and you can go opponent man. We may actually lost Legacy for Blossoming Defense, just to make it so we can't protect his creatures, because that would be not so good for us, for him to be doing that, because obviously we're going to cast a spell, and then he's going to make it so we actually can't target his creature, which is what Hexproof does in this case. Um, yeah, it basically, Stomp and uh, Infect actually work very similar. They're kind of like the same type of deck, where they're basically trying to play a play creature, get through as much damage as possible, and make it so that creature can't be damaged. Unfortunately, Hexproof. What? Man, that sucks. Because I don't need to target your creature to kill it. I don't think he knows that, though. Um, so let's make him have a real bad day by playing this for its kicker cost. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> uh, here you go. Have a good day. Our opponent is probably being like, uh, really? Really? Yeah, that's the thing. Is that, so one, one thing, we when I built this deck, I wanted to build it so it can deal with kind of a whole bunch of different situations at at a time. And our opponent just scoops straight away. Well, that's going to be it. So there you go. I mean, Stomp just can't stand up against this deck. We are designed to take on creature-heavy decks, because that's really what this control deck is doing. And Stomp is just a perfect example of how this, this deck just doesn't doesn't let Stomp even get going. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was extremely quickly. Or, extremely quick. Yes. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was extremely quick because, again, perfect matchup for us. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like... If you did... I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to Giant Monster Games if you want to see more videos just like this one. And until next time, don't forget to game like a giant monster.